about to help the homeless? Uh, uh, the, the question is, so what, what are you going to do to, to help the homeless? Uh, actually, it's several different things. There's no one silver bullet. Uh, one of the things I've found out over the years, and actually talking to some of you here, here this morning, you're not here because you want to be here. You're here because you've fallen on hard times. And, and what I'm going to be focused on is how can we lift everyone up here in the state of Maine by increasing a, the minimum wage uh, to nine dollars an hour, yeah. uh, but, but by allowing a, a, affordable housing, by access to health care under the Affordable Care Act, uh, in training, one of the problems I find people have is uh, they not, might not be trained for a particular job skill set to actually help people, uh, you know, train. Uh, and and we'll, we'll be doing more. And, and property tax is a big issue. And it's my goal as governor to actually uh, to have a strong partnership but with municipalities. Uh, and, and that will definitely help on when you look at property tax as well. And, and, and the other area is uh, uh, under uh, my economic plan, which I think is a real doable economic plan, it focuses on what main strengths are. You know, 97% of the businesses are small businesses here in the state of Maine. And if Maine was able to grow uh, just at the national average for our economic growth for small businesses over a 10-year time frame, that's 31,000 jobs. We, we can do that. Uh, farms, Maine has the youngest farmers in the country per capita. And uh, there's no reason why Maine cannot be the food basket for New England. You know, those farming jobs, fishing jobs, and how you process those facilities. Those are jobs that um, you know, we can do here in, in the state of Maine. Uh, as well as some of the other things, actually, I really appreciate the, the, the tour. And one of the interesting things is I just learned on the tour is because this governor, uh, as far as the food stamps, the staff benefits, uh, if you don't grant the waiver, it's uh, untold uh, that you have three months and then you have to uh, uh, you're off for three years. Uh, you know that, that that is wrong on so many different levels because up, and, and here's why it's wrong. Unfortunately, this this governor, and quite frankly, this governor should know better. He was homeless to south. He should know better than what he's doing. He's forgotten where he came from, and I'm sure a lot of you folks out here never had a feet of snow to help you up like he had when he was homeless. When you look at, uh, you know, in the SNAP uh, program, I'll be uh, focusing on actually doing a waiver. One of the problems with, with cutting off of a hard fast cut for three months and then you're out, and incidentally, that will end in January. And when you look at January, where are people going to find jobs? Jobs are hard enough to find even during uh, the robust time here in Maine uh, during the summertime with, with uh, uh, tourists and stuff. So, so I'll actually be, be looking for a waiver uh, to, to uh, you know, for the state of Maine because uh, that is the right thing, number one, but also the fact that it's not only those individuals who need the help, but it hurts us economically as well. I'm told that it's about for a three-year time frame. That's about $300 million we're leaving on the table in Washington, D.C. And we should be leaving that money on the table. No wonder Maine's not uh, growing is this governor has refused to get whatever help is available for our citizens. And, and uh, as governor, I definitely will be doing that. So. What's his name?